Hey, what's up everyone? Johnny the Geek here, and uh, today I'm running some protein folding simulations. This is the uh, Folding at Home, a Stanford project to uh, find the way that proteins fold or misfold, and uh, basically it will lead to researchers finding uh, the way that diseases and cancers uh, work. So by donating our CPU cycles, we're able to run these simulations. What happens is that my computer over here downloads a work unit and processes the work unit, it runs the work unit in a simulation and this is what you're seeing here, this is a simulation of uh, proteins folding right? so that's it right there, I can move it around I can zoom in, zoom out the various uh, balls here, the different colors are different elements so I think uh, yellow is sulfur uh, the dark grays could be hydrogen, the blues are nitrogen and whatnot and so on and then it's connected there right and then over to the right same deal only this is what's being processed by my CPU so I have do two different clients here I have one client that's utilizing my NVIDIA graphics card so it's written for uh, CUDA so you need a uh, CUDA uh, enabled graphics card by NVIDIA and then right over here I have my CPU going chugging away processing it right so the more work units I do the more points I get um, it's not all about the points it's more about trying to find a cure for cancer and whatnot but uh, since I do have a point system here if you'd like to join uh, punch in the numbers 201228 and I'll be making a video soon on uh, how to download install and configure your protein folding at home project all right. Thanks for watching. Peace.